Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Kyle Davis Show, where I drive a virtual truck in a virtual world, and you watch. Yeah. So, here's a video I was not expecting. So, MRC TV have a little snippet of uh, Kanye West talking to Dave Letterman about the he's basically talking about bullies and who the enemy is and whatever else never been a fan of Kanye West never been a fan of his music no, I've just, I, I've never, I, I just can't stand it for the most part. Until he said this. He was saying that the leftists are the bullies. That's exactly what he said. The leftists are the bullies. They are the ones who are going up to conservatives or republicans wearing you know the make america great again hat the mega hat and saying fuck you fuck you and you know literally beating up these people for, for just for wearing a hat for supporting trump now if you don't like trump that's fine but that doesn't give you any right to have that kind of hate it doesn't give you any kind of right to be almost, I would consider, abusive. You, you, and that's what he's saying, is that the conservatives are the, the victims. The Republicans are the victims for, uh, from the, by the leftists, being the aggressors. You know, as a re Republican, you would almost, you would never go out in a mega hat unless you were going to like a Trump rally or you knew you were going to be safe because there are so many liberal campuses, there are so many liberal, liberal areas where the leftists and the Democrats will literally gang up and beat on these people. Physical abuse. All because they support Trump. The, it's, and it's almost as if the, the left-wing people advocate for that. It's almost as if they approve of beating up people. But then they call for uh, you know violence on women or violence on you know whatever else violation of rights violation or abuse whatever they may want to call it it's just another way to prove that the left only want what they want and they, they're basically saying fuck everything else they're basically saying Screw you guys, we're going to get what we want, and we don't care about anything else. It's, it should be intolerable, because here's the thing, if it was the other way around, if Republicans did that, there would be no toleration of that whatsoever. And yet, when Democrats do it, it's, oh, I, you know, I'm standing up against hate, or I'm standing up against, you know, this other thing. You can look it up on uh, YouTube. There was a girl who stole a, a sign that was uh, supporting Trump, or that was, su that was supporting something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But this girl stole the sign 
refused to give it back, and then ultimate, ultimately what happened is she went to jail, or I don't know if she went to jail exactly, she was detained, she was put in handcuffs and put in the police car for stealing the sign, because and she thought the sign was against her view, so she had to do something about it. And she was crying victim. She was crying, I'm the one being abused. Except it hap if it happened the other way around, that never... But see, here's the thing. Republicans, at least from how I view them or how I would see them, that, that would never happen. Republicans are the peaceful ones. Republicans and conservatives, okay, there are extreme conservatives, there are extreme Republicans. But in general, <clears throat> you hear more about the extreme, the, the extreme on the left, more so the extreme on the right. And if there was more extreme, and a part of this is because if you heard more extreme on the right, like you would know about it. If the demo, if Whenever the Republicans do any little thing that, you know, if the Republicans do any little thing that Democrats don't like, it's on the news in a heartbeat. It's, it's on the news and it's broadcasted for every single person in the world to see, right? Oh boy, I did not see that turn. So let's uh, do this here. <clears throat> So I think, in terms of that, Republicans have more of a head on their shoulders because they're like, hey, we're not going to make ourselves look like the idiots because the Democrats are doing a fine job of that themselves. They're doing a just fine job making it look like um, they're the idiots. Yet they're never going to see it, but that's a whole other issue. But... Another another uh, point to bring up that then is that when President Trump was elected, um, there were so many people crying. You know, people are like, I'm gonna. There were, you could look it up. There's people who were saying I'm gonna kill myself. Um, there were all kinds of support groups or open therapy sessions because people just couldn't handle Donald Trump becoming president. Get a life. It's ridiculous. There were um, protests in the streets. There were um, things being lit on fire. It, it was insane. Yet, when Obama was elected, not once, but twice, never saw anything like that from the Republicans, ever. The most you probably saw was an impeachment attempt or two. While there, from my understanding, there were a number of impeachment attempts for Obama, you never heard about them because the media shut it down. The media has ultimate control and ultimate power. It's, it's really like a dictatorship. The media has a dictatorship over what the the mass population sees and it's all one-sided and again that would never be uh, that would never be tolerated by the left if that was for the Republicans but you know if the Republicans had that mass media they'd probably use it too I don't know it's interesting to think about But I don't remember the last time Republicans were in this huge uproar because a president was elected they didn't like. It's, it's ridiculous. You know, it's fine if you don't like President Trump. It's fine if you don't like what he does. But he's still the president. And he still has jurisdiction over what he thinks is best for the country and he's done a lot of good things for the country 
and that can be a whole other video. But yeah, I guess what it comes down to is I never expected um, Kanye West to say that Trump supporters were the victims, that they're the ones being abused. All right, well, uh, comment below. What are your thoughts on that? Are you surprised that Kanye West said that uh, Trump supporters are the victims? Because I sure was. Especially, you know, in 2016 or 15 or whatever it was, before the presidential election, he kind of talked about um, wanting to be president. And if he ever ran, I'd still never vote for him, because I don't think he has a, any idea, any clue as to politics. Could be wrong. I'm not saying that... Uh, I'm not accusing him of not knowing anything. I, I just don't. He'd have to prove himself. He'd have to uh, show he knows what he's doing. He's got no experience in politics to my understanding whatsoever so but like I said I am surprised that he said that and uh, what are your thoughts on that comment if you like um, like the video please subscribe and I'll see you all next time bye